This agreement, according to the Minister of Energy, Al Haji Kanjasisi, can help salvage the energy needs of the country. Al Haji Kanjasisi said the government has tested and inspected the ship for a week and is satisfied to sign the agreement. The minister revealed that the initial agreement was revealed as saving Sierra Leone $9 million per year, among other things. We have reduced the tariff to 16.4 cents from the original tariff of 19.5 cents negotiated by the former government. This represents an annual savings of approximately $9 million and is competitive in comparison to similar car power projects in Ghana and in the Gambia, which have either longer durations and or larger contracted capacity. Two, we've reduced the contracted available capacity which ETSA is obliged to pay whether or not the power is distributed, particularly for the rainy season when Bumuna Hydro, the least cost option is at full capacity of 50 megawatts. The Minister of Finance, Jacob Jusu Safa, commended the Energy Minister whilst stating that increasing energy access is part of the priorities of the new government. Safa said the government is working towards making the energy sector self funded. To us in the Ministry of Finance, the more that's money, that's a collect, the better it is for us. Because we want to reduce our spending on energy from the central government. We consider energy as a business. And we're looking forward to a concrete strategy for both the short term, the middle term, and the for both the middle term and the long term, where we can reduce our own spending. We are the electricity generator supply can pay for itself. The finance minister continued that government is committed to provide electricity to at least all district headquarter towns. Tolomasuma, AYV News, Freetown.